Challenge is inevitable in life, and how we respond to it, whether we take on the challenge or resist it, can have an impact on our life experience. Here's how Grant Long, legendary player of the Detroit Pistons, deals with the challenge. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd go back to my sporting days, um, being traded one day and then having to play the very next day. And the one thing that got me through that was recognizing that being traded is part of the business uh, in the NBA. So you have to either complain about it or show your merit and step up and play. You have, I think, 48 hours to report to your team after a trade. My scenario was that I was playing with the Atlanta Hawks. I got traded and we had just played the Phoenix Suns. The team that was coming in played the Phoenix Suns again. So it was my, I had a back-to-back -back game with the Phoenix Suns because the team I was being traded from, traded to, was playing the Phoenix Suns. So we, I stayed in Phoenix, played the Phoenix Suns again. I wore a number that wasn't my number. I just had to put on a uniform that they didn't have my uniform, because they didn't have my uniform prepared. And a lot of people might be thinking, well, that's not really an adverse situation. Yeah, it, well, it really is because now you, you have to sink in, let sink in that you've been traded all of your stuff is in a completely other, another city or state, and you're now in another state, and you have to leave with that team going back to a place that you had not been before. So whatever you have in your suitcase or your duffel bag is all you're going to take for the next five days. And that's pretty much what it was for me. But now you still have to focus on learning the new plays, learning your teammates, ex the expectations of your coach, all of those things you have to learn on the fly. So again, you can be the guy that complains about, well, you know what, I don't have all the things, my creature comforts, so to speak. I don't have this, I don't have that. Uh, the shoes that I need, they're not here. And you could really hold up the process of helping your team or even helping yourself get better if you complained about that situation. But that wasn't my take on life. As tough as it is to deal with challenge, there is one tried and true way to navigate through it, and that is through controlling your controllables. As always, and this is something that I've learned since I started playing basketball, the one thing, the only thing that I control is the effort that I give. And I've often tried to convey that to my teammates. I've had conversations with coaches that, you know, who've asked me, you know, what's your mentality when you go into a game? Control the one thing that I can control. And that is how much effort I give. No coach alive can ask you to make every shot. If you do, that's great but he can't expect you to make every single shot. And I wouldn't put the pressure on myself to make every single shot. I don't have control over that. I can do everything perfect. Rotation on the ball, turn the wrist over, focus, trajectory on the shot, everything. And it's still, sometimes it's gonna miss. I don't have control over that. But the one thing I have control over every time I take the floor is how hard I'm going to play, how much effort I'm going to give. That's the only thing as a player that you can control.